So today we're going to be doing quadratic equations with complex coefficients and we have to solve for x this little quadratic here which has a complex coefficient uh, here 3 minus i. Okay now the nice thing about this is that we're going to use a trick that we've used before which is a square root under a square root in order to solve this. So let's get going anyway. First of all yeah, let's use the, uh, uh, the, the quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So easy so far. Um, and let's plug this in. That gives us x equals 3 plus or minus root 9 minus 4 times 1 times 3 minus i, which is that is the, the c in, the, uh, in this equation, all over 2. And herein we start to get the problems. x equals 3 plus or minus root of minus 3 plus 4i all over 2. And this is where we start to get a problem. How do we take the square root of minus 3 plus 4i? Okay, well, in the Gresty Academy uh, YouTube channel, we, we've done a few um, uh, videos on square roots of a plus root b, um, getting the root b out and um, uh, how to do square root under square roots. And because i is basically the square root uh, sorry, i is basically the square root of minus 1. We can use exactly the same method that we have used to solve these. And uh, look in the description of this video if you want to see the links um, to solve the square root of minus 3 plus 4i. So let's have a look. We've got the square root of minus 3 add 4i. Okay, so we do exactly the same thing that we, uh, that we did um, before, is that we look at this here, 4, and we take factors of 4 divided by 2. Well, 4 divided by 2 is... 2. So let's have a look. We've got a and b here being 2 and 1, or 1 and 2, or minus 2 and minus 1, or minus 1 and minus 2. And, and if this doesn't mean anything, please go and watch the video in the link which explains how to do it on thirds under thirds. And then all we need to do is we need to find uh, a and b such that a squared plus root minus 1 squared b squared equals minus 3. And again, if that doesn't mean anything, please go and watch the other video. We've done a few videos on this. So we need to find something a squared minus b squared equals minus 3. And all we need to do is go through these. Well, all right, well, if a is 2 and b is 1, that's not minus 3. If a is 1 here, that's 1. Take away b squared is 4, minus 3. Yeah, ah, voila, we got the answer. So therefore, we know that minus 3 add 4i can be written as 1 add 2i squared, basically that is the a and that is the b, and so therefore the square root of minus 3 plus 4i, which is what we want to find, is the square root of 1 plus 2i squared, which equals 1 plus 2i. And so now we can go right back to our answer here. We have resolved this problem of the square root, we found the square root, and we can rewrite our solution as x equals 3 plus or minus 1 plus 2i over 2, and so therefore x equals 4 plus 2i over 2, or 2 minus 2i over 2, so therefore x equals 2 plus i, or 1 minus i. And they are the two solutions to our quadratic up here. Now, in actual fact, just as a little bonus for those who, uh, who are so desire, we can use this method that we've just used here, which we also used on thirds. It's always lovely to use the same method to solve different um, types of equations. We can actually find the square root of i using this method. Well, the square root of i is basically the square root of 0 plus i, but remember, we need this to be an even number in order to be able to get the factors of that number divided by 2. So let's just go 1 over root 2 root 0 add 2i. All I've done is I've, I've got the 1 over root 2 and put the 2 in. And then we need to take the factors of half of that. Well, there's only factors 1 and 1 and minus 1 and minus 1. And so we need to find a and b such that a squared add root minus 1 squared b squared equals 0 in this case, i.e. a squared minus b squared equals 0. Well, obviously, 1 and 1 satisfy that. So, therefore, we know that 2i uh, can be written as 1 plus i squared. And so, therefore, the square root of 2i is the square root of 1 plus i squared, which is 1 plus i. And so, therefore, we know that root i is root i is equal to 1 over root 2 times 
1 plus i and it's plus or minus that because there are two roots. So you can actually use this method if you wish to find the square root of i as well, which is quite a common question on Olympiads or whatever. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful. It's always nice to use methods from uh, other parts of maths uh, uh, to solve these. Um, if you found this useful, please like the video by pressing the little thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.